My name is Katherine Price and I'm a physical therapist. Today I'm going to do an exercise routine for older adults. Please contact your medical doctor or physical therapist for the appropriateness of exercises for you. I'm going to begin with a one of my favorite scriptures from Genesis chapter 50 verses 20 through 21. Uh, Joseph is talking to his brothers and he said, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. So then don't be afraid. I will provide for you and your children. And he reassured them and spoke kindly to them. So today I'm going to do an exercise routine for older adults. These are going to be addressing problems that I commonly see and I will talk to you about them and why they're important as we go through them. The first exercise I'm going to start with is going to address shoulder restriction. So as we get older, we have more difficulty raising our arm all the way up to that complete range. So this is important for when we're reaching up in a cabinet or we're trying to do any type of overhead activity. And we lose that range because we don't actually go through the full range and keep that flexibility. So the first one is shoulder flexion. You can find a chair or you can do this at a countertop. And what I'm gonna have you do is stretch your shoulders into flexion and hold for one minute. So what you can do is get behind a chair and just you're going to walk back and just stretch the arms as much as you can. Now this also is going to stretch the hamstrings, the back of the legs, which is also usually tight as we get older. So you may not get all the way into this position. When you're first starting out, you may only be able to go here, or you may even just be able to go here depending on what tightness you have. So you want to keep a straight back. You want to try to use your body weight to lean down you're gonna feel a stretch on the back of the leg if they are tight, and just hold here for a minute. We've got 15 seconds left. As you're holding, try to take nice, slow breaths, breathing in, and that's one minute. Next, we're going to go up the wall, so a, it's an alternative. You can take your arms and go up a wall and just hold. If, you're, if you have back pain with the other exercise, you can then find a wall and work your hands up the wall. Take your body and press into the wall to get an added stretch in the shoulders. And again, we're going to hold for one minute. Take nice deep breaths. And then we're going to do a third. And I'm going to go back to the chair and just lean forward, getting a stretch in the shoulder, holding for one minute. So this is going to be three times one minute, working on shoulder flexion so we can get that reach back. Take a nice deep breath in all the way out, deep breath in, all the way out, breathing in, and out. Next, you can just find a chair 
And a lot of times when we get older, we tend to lose our muscle strength and do not have the ability to get up out of a chair with ease. So we're gonna work on that by be doing repeated sit to stance. So I'm just going to sit to the edge of my chair, nose over toes, you can use your momentum to push yourself to a stand and then come right back down. Now, if you cannot stand up without using your hands, you can put a cushion underneath the seat. So I can add a pillow right here just to increase the height and just Place it where I can go up and down. I'm gonna do this 30 times. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, last one, and 30. So those are repeated sit to stance. If you're only able to do 10 to begin with, start with 10. Add five more and continue until you can build up to doing 30 of them. Next, we're gonna do the same thing, except I'm gonna begin at a stand, and I'm gonna work on slowly lowering myself when I get to here, I'm gonna to count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. So a lot of times there's a plopping in the chair and we want to work on that quad hamstring glute muscle strength in that range where it tends to let go. So we'll go back up and then slowly bring ourselves down to the chair, but don't sit, and then hold for 10 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Relax. Going back up. Slowly lower down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Down. Back up. This is number four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. And number five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Number six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. I'm going to ten. And eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. And nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, relax. And last one, standing, lower slowly and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, relax. So when you're doing that, you should feel the legs working. If you're only able to do three to start with, start with three, add one until you're able to go through the count of 10. Next, we're going to stretch our calf now when you're doing those sit to stands, you may feel the front of the shin working and that is one of the muscles that's needed to pull yourself to a stand. Now that's important because we are at risk of falling if we don't have 10 degrees of dorsiflexion, which just means 10 degrees of that toe coming up. So what I wanna do next is stretch the calf, hold this position, 
we want to hold this for ideally one minute to get the full benefit. So we'll go through a stretch and then work on that muscle in the front of the leg to try to get the toes to come up. This will uh, be a falls prevention. And then I'm going to switch legs. That was my first one. I'm going to set a timer to keep myself honest. If you have somewhere you can watch a clock, you can watch a clock and we're going to hold for a minute. You can do all of one side or you can alternate and switch back and forth, which is what I'm going to do until I complete three of them. Again, um, this is also going to help when you're walking to have that heel contact. That prevents you, again, from tripping or falling because you've got that ankle mobility. 30 more seconds. Now, if you're not used to any of these exercises, you may be really sore. So if you are starting to feel um, strained, then you want to build up to being able to do more repetitions. Four, three, two, one, and then I'm gonna switch. And placing my left leg back, hold for a minute. And starting our time. And you should feel a stretch on the back of the leg, the lower leg and the calf. If you straighten the knee, work on tightening that thigh and straightening the knee, you may feel it more stretching on the back of the knee. This is our gastrocnemia stretch, our calf stretch. 30 seconds. A minute can seem like a long time. Now I'm using the back of a chair. You can be up against a wall, up against a table. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then I'm going to switch. Right leg is back, holding for a minute. And again, I'm going to tighten my thigh, so tightening the front of the, um, this muscle in the front, but on the back leg, I'm going to tighten that and get that knee to straighten. This is also great if you're having knee pain. That calf muscle is going to cross the back of the knee. 20 seconds. each side and so I'm going to use the wall and I'm going to push that left leg back and I'm going to use the wall to stretch this time. Same thing, concentrate on taking nice deep breaths all the way out. Using your breath to help relax the muscle. Deep breath in. As you exhale, you can try to push into the stretch just a little bit more. And hold. Over halfway there.
hurting in the wrist, you can keep your wrist neutral and use the front. You don't want to put a strain on the wrist if this does hurt the wrist. And you can even put your elbows on the wall and push if your wrists are bothering you. So you can just hold it. You can change the position so that it's comfortable. You also want to check the back leg and make sure that your toe is facing forward. Some people will tend to do this and you want to make sure that you have the foot aligned. the calf stretch. After we've done that, we want to take advantage of that range. So I'm going to sit back in my chair and I want to sit so you can see my feet. What I'm going to then do is take my heels, leave them down and lift my toes. And I'm going to do that 25 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. You should feel that on the front of the lower part of the leg. Take a rest, and then I'm gonna do that again for another set of 25. One, heels stay on the floor, toes come up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, pull hard, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. After we've done two sets of 25 sitting down, we're gonna then stand. I'm gonna keep my heels down and lift my toes 25 times this way. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. You should be really feeling it work on the front of that lower leg. All right, we're gonna give them a break. I like to point my toes to give them a stretch. And then I'm going to do 25 more. Heels stay down and the toes come up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. The next muscle I'm going to work on is going to be my walking muscle. So speed of walking is helps determine gait stability. So also, also safety and balance. So that walking muscle is your gluteus medius. It's responsible for your ability to balance. So I'm going to hold on to the back of my chair lift my leg out to the side and I'm going to count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and bring it back down. I can alternate and go to the other side or I can repeat it on the same side. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Relax. If you've never done this, I would alternate back and forth. When you get stronger, you can do one side at the time and then the other side. Nine, 10, relax, that's three. Lifting that leg out, hold it. Four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, relax. Lifting it out, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, relax. Lifting out, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, relax. Seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, relax. And you don't have to lift it very far. You're gonna feel it working on the standing leg and on the other leg. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, relax. Three more, and I don't wanna lean way over. I wanna hold my trunk still and just bring that leg out to the side. You're just feeling it on the sides of the hip. Nine, ten, relax. Two more, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, relax. And then lifting out and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna switch to my other side and lift that leg out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I'm holding onto a wall or I'm this way, just so you can see, it looks like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From the front, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Halfway there. Lifting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. I'm going to do four more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. You should feel it working on the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. And last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and sometimes this muscle is weak so you want to go out to the side and slightly back a lot of folks try to end up lifting forward because it's weak so if you're lifting out forward that is incorrect you want to go out to the side and slightly back um, next I'm going to uh, stretch my hips so a lot of times we lose flexibility in the hips as well so uh, and one thing is putting on socks and shoes, um, being able to reach your feet to foot grooming, um, cutting your toenails, and we lose mobility in our hips. So all I'm gonna do before I do these last exercises is I'm gonna stretch my hips, finding a corner of a chair, and I'm just gonna lean forward. Now if you have a total hip replacement, you wanna make sure that you are not going past precautions and you're just trying to get that hip mobility back, you just wanna lean forward and hold this stretch. One minute is ideal. I'm gonna hold it for 30 seconds. That will help to begin, and then you want to spend longer and longer time holding this stretch. I'm gonna come back up again, keeping my legs apart, and I can be sitting this way, knees apart, and just bending forward, leaning forward and hold. And you just want to try to feel that stretch on the, in the hips. I'm gonna hold this for 30 seconds and then I'll do one more. Again, if you spend a little bit longer time holding, that would be ideal. 12 seconds. knees are apart, leaning forward to get that stretch in the hip, and 30 second hold. And you can let your back relax. If you have any disc problems, you don't necessarily want to do this. This is also a good stretch if you do have stenosis in your back. 
eight seconds. And five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, final exercises. I'm gonna then come back to holding onto my chair. We're going to bring our leg up, straighten it out, and lower it down. So up, out, down, that's two. Up, out, three, four, I'm going to 20. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, halfway there, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now I'm gonna switch to my right leg. Knee comes up, leg goes out, and lower down. One, up, out, two, up, out, three, up, out, four, up, out, five, up, out, six, up, out, seven, up, out, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, and 20. So you should feel the legs working. Next, we're going to go into hip movement. If you need to sit down and take a break, by all means, take a break and then go back to it. So next, we're gonna bring that left leg up, out, around, and down. So these are hip circles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, we're going to 20, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then I'm gonna to switch to my other leg. I'm gonna bring the leg up, out, and down. So I'm doing hip circles, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Now I'm going to go the opposite direction. So I'm gonna bring that knee out and over and around. So if you're trying to lift that leg up and over something, three, four, out and around, five, six, we're going to 20, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Then we're gonna go the other direction on the other side. So out, around, and down. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, almost done, 18, 19, and 20. So that is it for the hip circles. There's only one more exercise. So also, we spend a lot of times pushing up when our legs are weak. So we use a lot of our triceps. So you can do this against a wall. If you are using a table or a countertop, make sure that it's nice and stable. So this would be better if it was up against the wall. But I'm then just going to do some wall push-ups or angled push-ups. Two, this is a little bit, the further the angle, the more challenging. Three, four, I'm gonna do 20. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm lifting my chair, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. And just to demonstrate, this is a good place to start. It's gonna be against the wall. And you're just going to lower your chest and press away. Lower and press away. And you are working, you're getting a little bit of a chest stretch and you're working those triceps. So those are some exercises that I like to use, um, especially in the older population to address some of the uh, range of motion restrictions, weaknesses, um, and that can then uh, help with daily function and keep, um, keep us healthy. I hope this was of help and I hope that you have a blessed day. Thank you.